tennis is full of turning points, split-second moments that propel history in one direction or another. Whether it's a critical set-point error, a career-wrecking injury, or a fortuitous comeback, it's endlessly fascinating to wonder, what if? Consider the example of Joe Hunt. Few people have heard his name, but he could have been one of the greatest legends to ever pick up a racket had his life not taken a tragic turn. He had a junior career that really was as good as it could get. I would say from 16 years old, he was being looked at as a future Davis Cup player for the United States and a future champion. In 1938, with the U.S. on the brink of war, Hunt enrolled in the U.S. Naval Academy, jeopardizing his promising tennis future. It was common knowledge that when you went to the Naval Academy, you were going into something that was going to dominate your life. I mean, there was just no way he was going to be able to compete at the highest level because he couldn't get competition, he couldn't get time off to play all the tournaments. The tennis world felt like this might have been the end of his tennis career. As World War II progressed, Hunt found fewer and fewer opportunities to play tennis. By the time he entered the 1943 U.S. Nationals, the equivalent of today's U.S. Open, he had already missed the previous two years, so he was given a low seed and even lower expectations. But he shocked the field when he reached the final and took on his old friend, number two seed, Jack Kramer. It was a very hot, humid day. You have these two great warriors battling. Joe ends up winning the match, but as Jack hit his last shot long, Joe just went down in a heap. Hunt wins the match and goes down with a leg cramp. The experts were saying that if Jack's shot did not go long, Joe wasn't going to be able to finish that match. He was done. Jack climbed the net and jogged over and sat down with Joe, and they shook hands on the ground. The gentlemanly handshake is not forgotten. Hunt never got a chance to defend his title. Ever the Patriot, he transferred to become a fighter pilot. And on one fateful morning in February of 1945, during a routine flight exercise, he failed to pull out of a dive. I think you dive about 4,000 feet and you experience a lot of G-force. And uh, he didn't come out of his dive. And the plane spiraled down and then went into the sea. It was devastating. It hit all the papers. He was on the cover of the major tennis magazine, American Lawn Tennis, um, with the statement that a champion gives his life. With one freak accident, tennis history would forever be changed. Jack Kramer would go on to become one of the legends of the game, while Joe Hunt would fade from memory. He was an important champion. He was an important tennis player in a very big era of tennis. Every great player from that era has been able to tell their story but Joe. As a result, I wanted to make sure that Joe could ultimately have his story told.